Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share my experience with using aloe as a part of my skincare routine. I'm gonna show you how I made my own aloe, what the problems with my skin were, kind of the things that I was hoping that the aloe would target or what I was hoping to kind of get rid of by adding this into my routine. And then I'm also gonna show you my results over the five days. I used it five days consecutively. I didn't change anything else about my skincare routine. I kept everything else the same. I just added in using the aloe. Spoiler alert, I was shocked. To make the aloe gel, you can use an actual aloe plant if you have one or if those are easier for you to find. Or you can use one of these massive aloe leaves. I just picked mine up at a local grocery store in the produce section and that is what I'm going to be using for this video because there is a ton of aloe in there, but use whichever one you have available. First I cut off the very end of the aloe. Then I cut off a section about this size. This little section actually lasted me almost the full five days. So this leaf will last me quite a while. I just put foil on the open end and stuck it in the fridge. Then I take the little section of aloe and cut both of the ends off and then work at removing one of the sides. And then now you can really see that the inside is pretty much solid gel in these larger ones. Then I'm grabbing a Tupperware container. I just wanted something that I could stick in the fridge. You can use whatever you have. And then I'm just removing that other side so that I can put the gel into the little container. This is what it'll look like. And then I just took my knife and mashed it up. You can use a fork for this too, and that will really help to kind of get more of the chunks out just so it's a little bit more smooth for you to use on your skin. This is my skin on day one. I have not used any aloe yet, and I don't have any of my lighting set up. This is just the lighting that's naturally in this room. It's not natural, it's indoor lighting. <laughs> but this is the lighting that is already in this room. I don't have any special lights set up so that you do kind of see more of the realness of my skin. This lighting does make my skin look a little bit more discolored and kind of freckly than it actually appears in real life. This is kind of warm tone lighting behind me mixed with cool tone lights above me. So it is a little bit different, but I didn't want to set up my lights and kind of blur out any imperfections. So this is what my skin looks like right now. My problems recently within the past few months have been dryness. My skin has been very, very dry, more dry than it has probably ever been. My skin used to be normal, then it was kind of oily, then it was kind of normal, and now it is very dry. And the other problem I'm having is in this area right here. I've tried changing what I eat, changing the products that I use. I do sleep with my hands up by my face, and I've tried putting like a blanket in between so that my hands are not touching my face. Nothing's working, I'm not really sure what is causing it, but this is my problem area right now, kind of all over. I'm having texture issues. Blackheads are big for me. I don't get a lot of big zits or larger kind of raised bumps, but I do get a lot of blackheads and a lot of texture in this area. So it's a lot easier to feel than it is to see. So I don't know how much of it you're gonna be able to actually see, but it's there, it's very rough, it's very textured, and it's kind of on my forehead right now too. I'm not sure what is causing this, but I'm hoping that this aloe is gonna work one. My skin has also been kind of scarring more easily, not from zits, but from picking as well as scabbing more easily. I do have a few scabs and a few down here as well. I am going to get closer and show you kind of the close up, but that is where my skin is starting and I'm hoping that this aloe is going to work wonders. Okay, so you can kind of see the texture on my forehead if I turn like kind of to the side, you can see it. And then I have a couple bigger like blackheads over the past few days in this area. I also do have some freckles and discoloration like on my cheeks and my nose. And then I have some scabby places like on my neck and over here, this area right here, you can see I have some scarring from picking, not too many, but it has been scarring a lot more easily recently. So I'm hoping that the aloe will help with that. And then this side as well, you can kind of see the red spots, some scarring, and then just some like texture in this area. This is what my skin is looking like on day one. To apply the mask, I have been keeping my aloe in the fridge. So I just grab the little container and then I also mash mine up, which I showed, and I just stick my finger in 
and grab some of the aloe gel, not necessarily the chunky part. I can run that over my face afterwards to kind of get some extra. So I use the gel in here and then I'll take the chunks and kind of run them over my face just to add the gel. I feel like this smells like bad fast food. I don't feel like anybody talks about the smell. It doesn't smell good. I'm gonna take it down my neck too. My neck and under my jaw are pretty dry. And then I am gonna grab some of those chunky pieces again. I don't know if you could see this. And then just run them along my head just to add some extra. And then once I feel like I have a good amount, I'm just gonna take what's left on my hands Make sure all of the areas I want covered are covered. Once my face is completely covered and I feel like I have a good amount on, I'm gonna leave that on my skin until it completely dries and then I'm gonna rinse it off with just water. I'm not gonna use any products, any soaps. I'm just gonna let it dry completely on my skin and then rinse it off with water. This is day number two. I haven't noticed any real differences yet. I do feel like maybe through here it was maybe slightly a little bit less textured and a little less dry, but I'm not sure if if that's just wishful thinking or actual reality, but I'll show you what it looks like close up. This is day three. I haven't noticed any major results. I do feel like it's maybe slightly less dry, especially here, and Clay said that he does think that it's a little less textured in this area. I do have a dry patch around here that I kind of get a lot around my mouth and in this area, so that is still very dry. Today I'm going to try applying the aloe in the morning and the evening and see how applying it twice a day works. Today is day five. I forgot to record what my skin looked like yesterday, but I did only apply the aloe once yesterday. So I've done it once every day except for day three. I did do it in the morning and the evening, but this is day five and my skin is looking so much better. Even my husband has made multiple comments about like, your skin looks so different, like so much clearer. I had been complaining to him for a while about how upset I was with how my skin was looking. And he has said numerous times like on his own, like your skin looks really good. And it really has cleared up so much that I, like I honestly can't believe it. I'm so thankful for it. But this is day five. I am just gonna apply it once today, but I am very, very pleased with the results so far. The texture and like raised bumps that I had in this area is so much less than before. Like I can't feel it as much, but it's also way less visible. My forehead is still probably the most like visibly textured area right now, but it's gone down too. I do still have some scarring on the side, which I already had before. And then I have some darker spots where I picked some blackheads beforehand, I'm hoping that those are really gonna lighten up, but they are pretty smooth now. They're just kind of darker pigmentation from the skin being irritated by my picking but I'll get close up and let you guys see. I'm really happy with the results so far. I'm gonna keep going and see how far this aloe is gonna take me because right now I'm very pleased with the results for it to just be four days. Like I've used it five times because day three I used it twice. Like to only have put it on my face five times and to have these type of results, I'm very, very pleased so far. Like there you can see that there's still some like darker pigmentation from my skin being irritated from picking. But in the light you can see like how smooth this is starting to get. And then this side has been the worst. This is also the side that I tend to sleep on if I sleep on my side. And I do have kind of like a worse scar right here. 
but this side was very, very textured and dry, but it's looking so much better. So this is after five days of aloe. On day five, I did apply the aloe once in the morning and once in the evening. So days three and five, I applied it twice and the rest of the days I just applied it once. And this is the outcome. There's a lot of the texture and bumps gone on. But my cheeks are the areas where I've noticed it the most because these were the areas I had the most problems. They are a lot more smooth and clear. I do still have some bumps and texture through here, but it is a lot less dry and there is a lot less texture. This is the other side. It's so much more smooth. I will say that last night I started to get some bumps like right in this area. You can see one here and then quite a few like down through here. And I'm not sure if that is my skin or kind of a reaction to the aloe. Sometimes when I put the aloe on, I'll get kind of itchy, especially like under my chin and on my neck, but it's nothing unbearable. It's just kind of like itchy. I don't know if that's normal. It hasn't really caused any rashes or breakouts or anything like that. So I'm not sure if that's what this is from or if that's just my skin flaring up. But these scabs are a lot better. I do feel like my skin is more hydrated, a little bit more glowy than it was before. And it is a lot less textured, a lot more smooth than it was when I started. I'm really happy with the results so far. I'm gonna continue to do this for a while and just see how good the results can be as I continue to use it for more than five days. I'm gonna continue just using it once a day, maybe twice a day sometimes, and just see what the results end up being kind of long-term because I do think that for just five days of application, this is the best results that I've gotten with my skin for a very long time. I think it's definitely worth giving this a try. This has done more for my skin in five days than any over-the-counter products have done in quite some time. I have had just more dryness and texture on my skin than what is normal for me and nothing has really seemed to combat that, but this is actually working. I think it's definitely worth trying. You can buy the aloe leaves like I purchased at your local grocery store, Whole Foods, places like that, or you can buy the whole aloe plant and use the smaller leaves as well. I think it is a bit easier to buy just the single large leaf from the grocery store just because there is so much aloe packed into that. But if you can't find that and you can find the actual potted plant, then that will work just the same. I'm excited to see what my results are further down the line with continued use of aloe on my skin. I'm happy with the results so far. I definitely think that I can tell an improvement, probably more of an improvement than I thought I would. Kind of one of those things that I like hoped for but didn't know if it was actually gonna happen. So I'm very pleased. I definitely think it's worth a shot. Whether you have some problems with your skin or whether you just want some moisture or you just wanna just give your skin something kind of natural and new and fresh to just kind of freshen up, give a little glow to your skin, give some more moisture to your skin or to fight problematic skin, I think it's definitely worth a shot. So if you try this out, let me know what you think. Hope that you enjoyed this video and remember you are beautiful, you're a blessing and I'm so thankful for you. Bye.